shocking young and restless twist, Jordan strikes again as Claire disappears with Harrison. Plus, Sally and Adam's epic 50-year love plan unveiled. Nikki's sobriety slip revealed. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jordan's surreptitious attack on Claire, Adam and Sally's 50 years together. According to the Monday, April 15th, spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Daniel Romilotti Jr. will speak with Phyllis Summers regarding the lawsuit and potential consequences for her at Chancellor Winters. Though Phyllis will later make hints about potential chances and make Daniel suspicious, she will first argue that she should really just quit and get the rest of the team to support her. Phyllis will be questioned by Daniel about what transpired with Danny Romilotti, but she will argue that Danny made his decision and that she is moving on. Daniel will happily provide updates on the tour schedule while at his house, but Christine Blair will confess that an old colleague has contacted her and begged for her assistance. Christine will feel that what she shares with Danny is also a once-in-a-lifetime experience, even if this is a once-in-a-lifetime situation. Unfortunately, since Christine would be occupied for months, accepting the case would mean missing the trip. Danny won't want to hold Christine back or be able to make a decision on her behalf. Danny will tell Christine that whichever choice she makes will be the right one after they have made love and enjoyed what may be their last night together. While trying to brace herself against this Jordan trap, Nikki Newman will confess to Jack Abbott at the Jazz Lounge that she experienced a slip-up in her sobriety. Nikki, nevertheless, will maintain that something incredible occurred because her family and friends provided her strength. Nikki will feel like she can overcome her sobriety challenges for the first time. Before interfering with Nikki's conversation with Jack, Victor Newman will speak with Nick Newman to make sure there haven't been any sightings of Jordan. Victor may appear concerned, but Nikki will reassure him that everything is fine and express her appreciation for the dry party. Jordan will remain hidden outside the building as she observes Claire Grace walk away. Harrison Abbott will be angry that he lost his lucky charm during the party, but Kyle Abbott will think that his son may have left it there and will phone Summer Newman to see if she can find it. Summer will acknowledge that she doesn't see anything anywhere, but as soon as Kyle hears someone knocking on the door, he has to leave. Kyle will be happy to see Claire with her lucky bun, I'm sure of it. Claire will relate to Kyle the tale of her own lucky stone and how Jordan took it away from her when she was caught hoping for a family and friends. Claire will speak up about finally feeling free of Jordan's grip, and even though she thinks she should leave, Kyle will encourage her to stay and be happy for her. Harrison will hug Claire for finding his lucky charm shortly after coming downstairs in his jammies. Harrison will be happy when Kyle supports the notion of Claire reading him a book since he will want Claire to do so. Kyle will inform Summer over the phone that Claire has discovered the charm and brought it over when he gets back. Summer will seem horrified to learn that Claire is reading Harrison a story upstairs. In the upcoming Monday night episode of YNR, Adam Newman will accompany Sally Spectra to her room and inquire about her vision for the future of 40 years. Sally will acknowledge that she hopes Adam will still be in the picture and that he wants to know. Adam will kiss Sally before things become more intense, implying that they may easily spend 50 or even 60 years together. Nick will be upset with Phyllis for evading security when they return to the jazz lounge, but she will maintain that she was unaware of the celebration because Summer had not made any mention of it. Phyllis will make suggestions that things will soon blow up in her face at Chancellor Winters once Summer joins her and Nick. Summer will remind Phyllis to use caution as soon as she discusses her huge plans. Nikki will realize she was foolish to think Jordan couldn't resist coming there when the celebration ends. Victor will assure Nikki that Jordan won't be able to torture them any longer and pledge to capture her. Harrison will take Claire upstairs at the Abbott residence once more and leave her alone while he uses the restroom. Jordan is going to sneak up on Claire from behind and chloroform her while she's waiting on the bed. 
Claire will rapidly lose consciousness while Jordan gets ready to target Harrison. When Jack and Diane Jenkins Abbott get home later, Kyle will have made a panicked phone call and appear to have given the police their address. Kyle will acknowledge that he believes Claire has abducted Harrison when Diane and Jack ask him what's wrong. We'll provide additional predictions on all the chaos as the young and the restless spoilers indicate that there will be many more Jordan surprises. The next update for today. Summer and Victoria argue over kidnapping, and Mama Bear yells for Claire. According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Summer Newman will lose her mind upon learning that Harrison Abbott has vanished from the Abbott Mansion. Jordan will be in charge, but since Claire Grace will be the last person Kyle Abbott sees with Harrison, there may be some uncertainty. Summer, who has a lot of trust issues with her cousin, will find it easy to believe Kyle is mistaken in thinking Claire is the abductor in this case. When Summer finds herself accusing people at the tack house, Victoria Newman will, of course, attempt to play the role of the voice of reason. Summer will claim that Claire took Harrison once she acknowledges that he is absent. According to Y&R spoilers, Victoria will be astounded by the news and will probably protest that it is nonsensical. Although Claire loves spending time with kids, Victoria won't believe that she was trying to kidnap one. Claire has dedicated her life to starting a family with Victoria, Cole Howard, Nikki Newman, Victor Newman, and anybody else who will take her in since she was released from the mental health unit. Since Claire has been concentrating on starting over, Victoria won't believe that her daughter would suddenly abduct Harrison. It is incompatible with Claire's actions because she received the necessary medical attention. Summer would counter that Victoria might not know Claire as well as she believes. Ultimately, Claire managed to deceive everyone by portraying herself as Nikki's adoring, helpful assistant. That was back when Claire was employed by Jordan, who persuaded Claire to entice Nikki to travel all the way to the Oregon Lake House. Put another way, Summer can hurl Victoria in the face because Claire has a history of kidnapping people. When Victoria jumps to Claire's defense and says Summer had to be mistaken about everything, her mama bear aside can come out in full force. Perhaps Victoria will point out that she makes more sense as a potential abductor now that Jordan is free. However, given their prior collaboration, Summer might believe Claire and Jordan are plotting together. Though Summer would wonder how Victoria can be so certain that Claire turned her back on Jordan, Victoria might assert that she did. Stay tuned for our predictions on how the Claire situation will be resolved as this could turn into a very heated confrontation. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Victoria will defend Claire in the meantime, so make sure not to miss any of the action. The next update for today. Mystery disappearance of young and restless solved, in addition, spoilers, come back for the upcoming lawsuit battle April 8th to 12th. This week's major drama on Young and Restless was mostly centered on Ashley's changes and Victor and Nikki's 40th anniversary. Here's a look at what transpired and what lies ahead. Lovers and Friends Though I'm not so fond of Audra falling back in for Tucker, I do like the notion of Audra and Sally being friends. I wanted her to turn away from him. She most likely does in her heart, which is why she won't go as far as to wed him. It's obvious that the man still has a deep romantic attachment to Ashley. His attempt to keep the reality from himself is reflected in his intense desire to wed Audra and move on. Why? What he took to be Ashley's rejection wounded him. It left him feeling exposed. He cannot for that to occur once more. Audra is going to need a friend, so I'm delighted she has one. When Tucker gets back together with his true love, she is going to be devastated. Ashley's Modifications We knew going in that Eileen Davidson could kill a story with several personas, and she did not let us down. In terms of this specific soap opera cliché, the tale itself was simple, but it was a lot of fun to watch Davidson play the several altars and switch between them. 
The most entertaining thing for me to witness was the dominant altar converse with people like Audra and Diane. She delivered it exactly right. You staged your own demise, bitch, she scoffed, drawing the concern of the Abbott family. Excellent. Billy offering to assist with the diagnosis was another thing that made me laugh. Your brother would only have D.I.D. .D and be able to identify the signs if he was on a soap opera. When he disclosed this, no one seemed to notice. Funny as hell. Additionally humorous? After participating in this extremely taxing and, to be honest, terrifying intervention, Diane and Jack get dressed up and head out for a night of celebration. On a soap opera once more. Of course, there will be difficult work to be done after Ashley's sleeping medicine wears off. Ashley is likely to be heading to Fairview for recuperation, as Sharon is the sole therapist in the area and rather preoccupied with her role as CEO of Cassidy First Technology. Find out who might be joining her here. Aiming legal action. We, along with a lot of fans, are curious as to whether Miss Hale Morgan will play Amanda Sinclair again when Daniel and Heather get ready to face Lily. Why? Unless Lily plans to hire Christine and she is going on a tour with Danny, she would be Lily's most sensible choice for a lawyer. Since Michael values Phyllis's son's head, we can't see him taking up a case against him, and Amanda has already represented Lily in legal matters. Nevertheless, Amanda was there to maintain order in the joint on Jill's behalf when we last saw her, so it's unclear where Jill sits in all of this turmoil. It might not even matter in the end. See why Lily might get fired in this instance. Cheers to your 40th anniversary! Aside from the Daggers, Nikki and Victor's anniversary celebration was drama-free. Summer's eyes were blazing at Claire. It's important to note that this is a reasonable reaction to someone like Claire, and more people ought to have been wary about putting their trust in her. It would have been far more grounded in reality. Anyway, the speeches were excellent, and it was good to see everyone acting politely during Adam's speech, Nikki appeared to have smelled something somewhat foul. For the family and friends, it was a very touching event, and it was slightly comical that Jack and Diane would be attending. Everything about it was perfectly romantic, from the slow dance that featured flashbacks to their first wedding to the ruby red ring. View every party photo that was taken here. Claire was seen sprinting after Kyle and Harrison on Friday's episode, where we left off at Nikki and Victor's anniversary party because the little kid had forgotten his lucky bunny. Jordan was still hiding outside, still wearing a man's disguise. Security is supposed to be particularly watchful, but they haven't asked any questions about the strange man who has been observing people by the entrance all night. In any case, the teaser indicates that Claire will meet them at the Abbott estate, where Kyle intends to extend an invitation for her to remain. Our handy-dandy spoiler images have revealed that Claire will eventually give Harrison a bedtime story in his room upstairs. Then, the teaser gives us the creeps by showing that Harrison and Claire both vanish. Although Kyle seems to believe Claire is to blame and that he shouldn't have trusted her with him, there is more to this story than meets the eye. You may see for yourself by scrolling to the end of this photo gallery. Yes, the matter is resolved. The only unanswered question will be whether Claire was an accomplice or a victim. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.